Welcome back everybody, I'm Pixel Dragon, and you're watching a Let's Play of Elden Ring. So, in between recording uh, episodes, I, I was told by uh, uh, someone in the comments, uh, it isn't jazzy, that I can actually dual wield the claws, I don't have to find another set, uh, I just have to uh, do the, like, the two-handed uh, two equip, and they're both there. So, uh, thank you for the tip, it isn't jazzy. Uh, I'm going to try these out because I'm very curious how well they're going to work. So, uh, let's continue into Kaled. Alright. Yeah, so there's a wall here. Let's just jump over that bad boy. And there's a big angry bird. Just sitting right there. I don't trust that. Is he gonna come over and attack me? Oh, there's a bunch of birds. A nascent butterfly. What do you have to say? It's rotting. Everything rotting scarlet. The very earth that Caled rests upon, and Celia, town of sorcery. The end is nigh for us all. Alright. Well, that was uh, a very motivating conversation. Oh, hey, look at you. Yeah, look at that blood. Look at that blood build, blood loss build up. That's what I like to see. Man, that was so fast. All right, let's see if there's any stuff around here. I want to want to get any items that they might have. There's another dude over there. Man, short work preserving boluses. All right, that's for Scarlet Rot. Or blood loss, actually. I think, I think preserving is blood loss. There was a dude over here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, blood loss works on these guys, too. A glass shard. So I'm not sure if anybody uh, has come across this channel, but uh, I've been wa watching uh, some lore videos from Vati Vidya, um, V A A T I, I think V I D Y A. Uh, but he does a lot of really cool lore stuff, uh, and he, he breaks down uh, some of the more confusing aspects of the story. I've been purposefully not doing Elden Ring ones. Uh, uh, because I don't want to spoil any of the story for me, uh, but I know he has them. I I did do one uh, when the DLC trailer was announced. Uh, trailer went out because oh my god! Uh, I wanted to uh, to make sure I was caught up on kind of what's going on. Man, just annihilating things over here. That's so that's so amazing. I'm sure it's gonna get harder, but if it's nice to have a win. Anyways, uh, the the rune, uh, the the lore stuff from from Vadi Vidya, um, I've been really enjoying it. So uh, head on over there. Uh, if you guys are uh, interested in like a deeper dive of the lore, he talks about um, uh, what is it? He, he talks about uh, lore related to items, and he reads uh, descriptions from a bunch of stuff, so and pieces everything together. Uh, he he does get help from from other people. He reads up like wikis and um, uh, and watches other YouTubers and uh, and, and gives credit where 
where other people provided him with information. So um, overall, seems like a pretty uh, uh, pretty awesome channel. So yeah, feel free to head on over there and uh, check out some of that lore stuff. I really like that uh, the lore in, in Elden Ring is kind of, well, in all the FromSoft games, it's a little bit hidden away. It doesn't like beat you over the head with it. And it's like, this is the story. This is everything that's happening. It's kind of like, no, you, you, you can pick if you want. This is clearly a death trap. I don't really see any... Oh, and they spew... I'm gonna guess Scarlet Rot. Um, I don't really see a benefit here. Yeah, let's just get around these guys. Yeah, I mean, look at that. They, they can even trap me on a horse. I thought I would just mow right past them. Oh, there's a minor ur tree. I'll get that in a minute. Oh, I remember these things. Oh, I hate them. Oh, I got a horde walking back to me, too. Okay. Oh, I can summon my wolves. All right, puppers. I'm going to need your help. Let's do this. Come on. Oh, really? Come on. No, no. Bad. No. Gotta heal it. Alright, so... Not... Uh, these guys were great for uh, for stun locking, plus my blades that do uh, blood loss damage. Man, that, that's huge. Let's get another one. I mean, if... It was that easy. Man, it's kind of moving quick. The first time I encountered those, I had such huge amounts of trouble with them. Same with these crows. These crows were... I mean, these were something else. Alright. I think they might... They still might be. Um, well, he, he, he had the things, the sound effect. Ow. Yeah, he still hits like a truck. There we go. I mean, not 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 a tremendous amount of uh, soul or runes coming off of explosive bolt. Uh, that's all right. Ooh, a treasure chest. Hey, a rune arc. Nice. I do like those. Man, these guys in the camp—they never had a chance. Okay, doesn't look like there's anything else. Oh, there is. Oh, nice. What do you got? A great sword? Alright, not bad. Be good if you're strength built, maybe. 
All right. I wonder. I wonder how well I would do against one of these things if uh, if I didn't have my my wolves with me. Yes. Oh, and the wolves are disappearing, so I'm going to have to find out soon. Oh, nice. Look at that. Side of grace. Alright, what is this place? The Kalem Ruins. I gotta stay away from fire, probably. Ooh, shiny. Drawstring fire grease. Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't, I don't like any of this. No. I mean, wow, they are just not worth killing. Look at that, 25 runes off of them. I mean, they killed themselves, but yeah. So basically the strat for, for those is get near them and run away. Do I get more if I kill them? I'm not going to have a chance to find out, I guess. Uh, 81, I do, but it's negligible. Alright. Sorry if that sound came through. Um, fighting off a... Uh, I'm on the tail end of a cold, and so... I don't know if my cough just now actually came through the mic. Alright, well there's more of these guys, let's uh... I guess let's just trigger all of them. It is nice that they're hurting each other. That's not super common. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Kalem Ruins. Anything else? You got a lot of these things. I do wonder, um, story-wise, what happened here. Why everything here is on fire. Okay. Got some smoldering butterflies. Oh, nice, a lot of them. Uh, in between one of these episodes, I'm probably going to uh, go around to the nomadic merchants and pick up a bunch of cookbooks and just get the things I haven't gotten yet. Uh, that way I can start actually item crafting. I feel like I'm missing a huge chunk of the game by not participating in that. I'm expecting to find a... Uh, oh, oh. That's one of these guys. Um... I'm expecting to find uh, one of those, oh, what do you call them, uh, l l like the the door underground. Oh, and you're fast. Holy crap. You don't mess around. Oh my goodness, stop, stop, oh my god. Holy crap. Oh 
Man, that thing is... That thing is brutal. Holy cow. Well, now I know what to, what to look for. What to look out for, I should say. Um, I don't want to do all of that again. I don't want to trigger all of these guys. I was mostly doing that so I could find my way around the ruins and see if there's anything special that I wanted. Let's just go down here. Uh, there isn't really a benefit to killing him, so I'm just gonna stay away. Oh, shoot! Run away! Why is it... That oh, was weird. It's like a weird wall. A great dragonfly head. Okay. Kalem Ruins. Whoa. Lots of, like, lava or something. Alright, so fiery zombies. That's kind of the... Fiery zombies, and I'm gonna guess rot is gonna kind of come up soon. Seems to be the theme around here. Oh, here it is. Pack ahead. Oh. Hold on, listen for that. Oh man, I... You can hear a uh, pumpkin head in here, so it's a pack. All right, well, thank you for... Applaud this message. Thank you for your heads up. Um, okay. Let's, uh, let's give this a shot. Yeah, mad pumpkin head. One hammer, one flail, all right. Get out of the way! Wow, just so much help from these guys. And man, look at that, they're annihilating my wolves. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's give it a shot. We'll, we, we can keep doing it. We got time. All right, I'm gonna try and go around some of this. There we go. All right. Uh, let's do barbaric roar. There they are. Here's my rooms. Man. Shoot. These guys are nuts. Gotta go with my good old time tested strategy of do not get hit. Oh. I'm failing at my strategy. I really gotta focus on one. As tempting as it is to try and take all of them down. Damn. Okay. No, not hammer. Come on, flail. Come on, buddy. No, 
shoot. Yeah, re you really got to focus on just one of these guys, and once you get once you get them down, oh, you know what? I think I, I think I know what uh, I need to do. I need to get the um, I need to get this out. I bet I can parry those guys. I don't think I can parry the flail. But I bet that I can parry the uh, the hammer. Who knows? Maybe I can parry a flail. Um, okay. Alright, get these runes. It's... for some reason I'm stuck. Here we go. Oh my god, I haven't even... Uh, man, I'm not even getting one hit. I'm nearly annihilated. Oh my god. This is going so poorly. I... Wow, that was a absolutely terrible run. I might, uh, hmm. I have a sacrificial twig. Um, I might just equip that. Just so I can get my runes and get out. Uh, we'll be lost in place of death. Yeah, let's do that. Um, now that I, I, I'm not really feeling very well equipped uh, for that fight. I, I, I think I did pretty good um, considering everything for uh, j in just one round, but I mean, even then, I only got half of... I, I really only did just over half the damage that I needed to do. So... We'll do this. summon my wolves just so they can take in some of the damage I'm gonna keep trying though I'm not just giving up oh my god these guys are nuts. All right. Yeah. Look at that. They're like following each other up. Oh, that was some lag. I I can't get near these guys. I don't know. I don't know if you guys are seeing that. Oh my god. God damn. I, I actually am getting a little um, a little tired of like turning uh, like elite scenario into a boss or reverse. Um, I like keeping these things separate. I know I've said it in previous videos and in uh, previous less plays as well, but I mean it still stands true. I got nothing left. Yeah. On the bright side, sacrificial twig broke. 
I get to keep my runes. Yeah, I, I just feel like it um, it cheapens the experience when you are when you're fighting something, and uh, talisman effects. Yeah, it, that, that was a note saying that the twig preserved my runes. Um, I feel like it cheapens the experience when you uh, when you're like, oh, this is a boss. Like, this is something I'm gonna be like have a hard time fighting. And yeah, you know. It, I am obviously having a hard time fighting that thing, but it's basically just a souped up version of an existing enemy. Um, it, it, it doesn't feel unique, and uh, I, I think being unique is something that I look for in in a boss fight. Uh, what do you guys think, though? Uh, you know, leave a comment. Uh, let me know. Uh, let me know if you disagree or if you agree. Um, I'd also love to know why. Love having discussions about these things. All right, so we did get another side of race. Um, we explored the Kalem ruins. We got past some big old dogs. Oh, hey, we have a finger reader here. You, please, I can read them. Your fingers, please, your fingers. So creepy. Oh, oh, bless you. Oh, oh. Are you one for festivals or flowers? To the south, a grand festival to make the stars turn. Oh. To the east, the heart and bud of a flower to be. But dare you enter into the heart of the scarlet rot? <laughs> What an interesting person. Um, so I the the festival to make the stars turn that has to do with Rani's destiny. Um, if you remember, uh, I had to talk to Celavus, and Celavus said that. Um, oh no no, it was a uh, sorceress Selen. She gave me directions saying that uh, Rani's fate is tied to the stars, and uh, General Radan. Uh, has locked the stars away or some or, or done done something to like make the stars stop turning uh so that's going to be the festival um and general radon is one of the bad guys uh like one of the main bosses that we fight so um we're gonna rest up here and we are gonna uh, wrap the episode up um at this point in the next one we're going to continue exploring Kaled. Uh, i'm not going to be going to the festival anytime soon i would really like to explore um uh, Kaled and its ruins uh, get to know kind of the uh, the area of Scarlet Rot. See if I can find some lore on my own. Um, like I, I was talking about uh, uh, Vati Vidya earlier, um, but it is also very, uh, like how I watch this stuff, but it is very rewarding to find it on your own. Um, so we're going to see if uh, if I can uncover some stuff on um, uh, uh, on my own uh, just to see if uh, if there's anything that I was like, oh, you know, maybe I, I, I do find why the Kalim ruins are, are on fire, why everybody is, there is dead, um, and who the army is. Uh, I, I'm, I'm very curious about all these things. So, uh, yeah, in the next episode, we're going to continue uh, exploring Kalim. I will see you all there.